This is Ped and Baz for Toffee TV and we're looking forward to Lille away in the Europa League. Evertonians love an away day, they love a European away day. Lille's just going to be absolutely chock with blues. I know the official the official ticket allocation is 5,000 plus, but I, I can imagine there's going to be double there, to be honest. I was going to say triple. Mm. I think uh, given the amount that went to the likes of Nuremberg a few years back, you know, I think... It was a similar allocation, ended up being about 15,000 Evertonians there, and obviously France is just a, a boat hop, train, plane hop away. I think <laughs> there will at least be double that amount in and around Lille, and uh, given the club the fantastic backing that they do. Yeah, I went to Nuremberg, and I can't even put an estimation on how many Evertonians do away. I just know that the away end was absolutely full. I was actually in the next pen in the in a home section which was just full of Evertonians and it, it just was an absolutely amazing day. So so much so much fun had by all. <laughs> I'll use the word fun because that, that's probably the lightest word I can use. But it was just brilliant and every, everyone got involved and the away the home team mixed with the away fans and it was brilliant and I think that's what it's all about when you go to these European games. Something totally different than what you're used to, isn't it? This is why you know people sometimes criticise the Europa League and, and fans were a bit wary of it last season, but I think anything that's different than what you used to should be embraced. And I think this is a fantastic tournament. Okay, monetary wise, it's not the same as the Champions League, but we don't get these trips every year. And to go over to France and play, you know, in a big game and something, and especially this year with the Champions League, you know, the winners going into the Champions League, it's got an added incentive now. And I think it's something that everybody should embrace. You know, we're having a concern about getting our name out and around in Europe and um, giving our fans many more trips like this. It's brilliant as well, because how many times would you have the opportunity or certainly want the opportunity to go to some of these cities that we've been to? You know, as I say, I went to Nuremberg, I went to Florence, you know, I went to the Benfica game as well, which turned out to be a terrible result, but I'll always have brilliant memories of the day, regardless of the results. And there's so many of these little cities and towns all over Europe that you get to go to that you just simply wouldn't go to unless you were a football fan. Krasnodar. <laughs> that's one of them yeah I mean that's the whole thing of it isn't it it's it's the whole package I think you can look too deeply into it and start you know people are using it at the moment Everton haven't started brilliantly this season and already the Europa League has been bounced around as a bit of an excuse I don't think that you can use that at all to, to the way we've started but in terms of the whole experience and everything else with it it should be embraced and you know I personally I hope we're in Europe every season because it'll mean we're doing well and it gives players a chance to develop. It gives the club a chance to build up its brand name all over the place. And it gives fans to make these uh, journeys to all four corners of Europe and the darkest places in Russia and have a great time and Lille and everything else. It's fantastic. Yeah, that, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. It's just football, isn't it? It's there to be enjoyed and that's what we should be doing. And I think I think every Evertonian who goes to Lille will enjoy it. And uh, let's hope the players and the manager do as well. Yeah. This has been Toffee TV and we're looking forward to the away trip to Lille.